Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about how to simplify a radical expression using the product property. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Simplify the square root of x to the third power, the third root of x to the fourth power, and the fourth root of x to the seventh power. And we're going to solve this using, well, the product property. Again, product property states basically that we can separate the inside into multiplication and then break that apart from two different square roots that are multiplied. So let's look at our first one here. We have the square root of x to the third power. Remember, square root has like a little two right there. So if I want to break this up, the square root of x to the third power is the square root of an x squared times an x. I'm looking for a perfect square here to separate with multiplication because I know that will cancel out. Now product property states that we can take the square root of x squared times the square root of x. From here, the square root of x squared, well that's just an x, but be careful. We want to make sure that that value is always going to be positive. Because if we simplify this, I can plug in a negative 3 and that would be fine, but it wouldn't have the same result. Negative 3 squared would be a positive 9, square root of 9 would be a positive 3. So because we have that going on, especially with our even powers, we have to use the absolute value symbol. From here, absolute value of x times, well, square root of x, and that's it. That's all we can simplify. So the first one simplifies to be absolute value of x times the square root of x. The third one, or second one here, third power, or third root actually, fourth power, same idea, product property. But here we're looking for perfect cubes. So again, I'm going to separate this up, the third root of x to the fourth power is x to the third power, a cube, times an x. From here, we can separate this out, the third root of x to the cube times this third root, almost said square root, third root of x. Third root of x to the third power is a perfect cube kind of set up here, and so that just becomes an x times, well, the third root of x. Now, you might be wondering, well, what about the absolute value? We don't need that here. Because remember, a third power doesn't change really the negative sign. If we had a negative 2 in here, negative 2 to the third power would still be a negative 8. And that one, then we took a third root of negative 8, would be negative 2, and we would still come back. So we don't have to worry about that canceling out. Either way, our final answer here is x times the third root of x. Now lastly here, a little more difficult, fourth root of x to the seventh power. <clears throat> Again, we're looking for a perfect fourth. And so the fourth root of x to the seventh can be broken down to be x to the fourth times an x to the third. The product property states that we can separate this out, fourth root of x to the fourth times the fourth root of x to the third. Now the fourth root of x to the fourth cancels out. We have an x, but again, we have an even power issue like we had in the beginning. We need to put the absolute value over that. So if you're kind of confused on it, best way to think about it is, hey, if we have an even power here and even root together combined, just slap on that absolute value. From there, we keep on the fourth root of x to the third, and that can't simplify anymore, and we have our answer. The absolute value of x times the fourth root of x to the third power. Well, I hope you learned something here on how to simplify a radical expression using the product property. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.